Mastodon! Hello guys, here are my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. So this is basically my review on this line. We have Zack, Jason, Trini, Kimberly, and Billy as the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And if you're wondering why my figures are quite different, well, these two, they are from the two-pack uh, release from Hasbro back in 2021 or 2020 this version the two versions are from the comics you can see they are quite unique well the yellow is not quite unique because the original yellow ranger from the japanese version which is zoo ranger yellow ranger is a male ranger the only difference here is the female red ranger okay if you're interested to see the individual rangers just keep on watching and subscribe to my channel okay let's begin on this video the first ranger we have is the black ranger this is the original release of the mighty morphin black i was supposed to buy the new version which is the remastered because looking at the head sculpt over here this one is too boxy the remastered is the improved version and looking at the mastodon tusk it's too wide i got this like a week ago i was really collecting the five core theme and i cannot find it here in the philippines like they are not selling the remastered black ranger this is the only one they are selling the original version it is very cheap compared to the remastered i think it's a deal that i got it now it comes with his civilian head you saw from the intro i use billy's head because in the comics the black ranger where any issue any comic issue they switch colors so billy became the black mighty morphin ranger this is the remastered head of billy i really need to hit up the plastic over here to put on the body easily like if i did not heat it up it's very tough like it can break easily so need to heat it up so here is a clip that Also with his weapon, I heat it up so that he can hold it easily because this, like, it's cool now. It's too stiff. Like, you can see, it's too stiff. So you need to heat it up. Also with the knees. And I said, it's the original release of the Mighty Morphin Black. It has these pins around his knees, uh, arms, arm slash elbow, like you can see them i line up his belt to match the other rangers and his weapon holder also with this one i cut off the blade blaster to match the other rangers too because they come in a blade blaster this kind of formation so i just copied it okay so here is zach or billy the black mighty morphin power ranger the blue mighty morphin power ranger triceratops which is originally billy but i decided to make it adam so adam looks nice as the blue ranger also with the red ranger as the zeo ranger 5 red this is the zeo ranger green helmet i know head sculpt it comes so i just put on the body of the remastered and it fits well so i just hit the plastic up to put on here this is the remastered blue because you can see the helmet is perfect and it has a neck because the original release the neck is quite tiny and the helmet is like square also with the uh, pin something over here are now gone so you cannot see them it moves nicely same with the knee 
like they are moving or they are movable they are not stiff here is the blade blaster and his power lance dagger version of the power lance to become the power blaster later on here is blue the next ranger is kimberly so this is the remastered version and the perfect molding of the pink mighty Morphin power ranger they released i think around four figures already so i think this is the sixth or fifth and this is the best version like the female molding before doesn't have these double joints around here now they have so she can put on her arrow like so here's the arrow she can hold it like that but i won't be doing that right now she comes with her civilian head kimberly here the head sculpt is still not accurately looking like the actress it is what it is so that's kimberly pterodactyl helmet is amazing like look at that and the shape of the helmet is perfectly oval slash heart shape so if you're getting a mighty morphin figure go for the remastered line but if you want a cheaper figure go for the original release because they are now cheap so here is kimberly and the details around here the pterodactyl power coin okay moving on here is the remastered no the power swap version of the yellow mighty morphin power ranger all right this is a exclusive like release from gamestop and i got it from ebay so i was really excited for this line of the comic book version of the power rangers because they swap powers as you can see this is a male yellow ranger and some reviews that says the head is quite small for his body looking it right now it looks nice proportion head sculpt is not accurate for his human form and the comic book version it looks nice so it has brown hair the only problem i have with this figure is it's super loose like a single touch or a flick of his knee are wobbly and his body but the good thing about it you can pose it whatever you like flawlessly no stiff connectors or joints are in place the difference i made from this is i line up the belt to match the remastered versions also here and here are the power daggers that's the mighty morphin yellow ranger and lastly we have trini the mighty morphin red ranger but i made it as tanya originally it's supposed to be aisha but i don't have an aisha figure so i used the zeo ranger 2 yellow head sculpt or header with this one guys i truly love it i think she is the second or third uh, female red but the second mighty morphin red ranger the first one is grace from the 1960s ranger also from the comics so this version is from the comics hopefully in the live action tv series or movie they will make a female red ranger uh, recently we got emilia from the dino fury or cosmic fury she is the uh, lead red ranger there but we don't have any live action mighty morphin red it has the same articulation as the male uh, figures but in a female body like it has a skinny arms and the knee are quite darker compared to her red and i also line up his belt or her belt <laughs> so to match the other figures and she is holding her power sword it doesn't have the detailed gold over here it still looks nice the other thing that 
plenty of people don't like about this figure is they say the head or the helmet is quite big for her proportion but for me i think it looks nice it fits perfectly like that so nice so this is the perfect head or helmet for the red ranger and if you buy the remastered version of the red ranger it comes with a shield of the green ranger also has the updated head like this so if you want that go for it but i prefer the female red ranger overall if you want to buy the cheaper version which is this one go for it but if you really like the accurate head sculpt of the head slash helmet go for the improved remastered version i will give this collection as a 10 out of 10 guys i really love especially they made a comic book related stuff of a figure with the red and the yellow ranger well this is from the japanese version the Zhu ranger it's a 10 out of 10 and hopefully hasbro will come back and make the power rangers line yes i know they are on a hiatus but this is the best thing that hasbro made through all the toys they made <laughs> like the cosmic fury power rangers megazord that's a flop but this they made amazing figures so comment down below if you agree and what do you think hasbro will make in the future will they continue to the power rangers line and in my opinion i wish they will make the die ranger figures okay see you bye subscribe to my channel see you bye